All right, guys, Mark here from Little Kitchen Big Food. Today, we're gonna to do a couple of different recipes. I'm gonna take you step-by-step step through each one of them. The first one is refried beans. No, we're not gonna open a can, put it in a pot. No, we're not doing that. We're doing real refried beans. The other recipe we're doing is pork carnitas. Carnitas. So, we're gonna do refried beans first. And then I'm gonna take you through carnitas and you're gonna be ready for street tacos. Are you ready? Let's go. Some of the things you're gonna need for this, pinto beans, two medium sized onions, about four cloves of garlic, epizote, I think it's how it's pronounced. So you'll notice it's not really basil. And yeah, it doesn't smell like basil or anything like that, but this, this is the key ingredient to making awesome refried beans. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take both of these onions and we're gonna dice one up and cut the other one in half. Set that aside for later. Take your other onion. Skin it. So that's pretty straightforward. The four cloves of garlic, I mean, you can smash them a little if you want. Four sprigs of epizote. One, two, three, four. Because we're prepping all of this on our cooktop, we're gonna move this out of the way. So we've got our pot, high heat, one pound of pinto beans, covered by about two inches of water. To that, we're gonna add our onion, our garlic, four sprigs of Epizote and bring it to a boil. So over high heat till it comes to a boil. So once this comes to a boil, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it go for about two hours. And after two hours, this is what you got. So now we just need to make sure that our beans that we've cooked for two hours are tender and yeah. They're tender and pretty tasty. Gonna drain the beans using our handy dandy mesh strainer. We wanna keep the liquid. So, really do this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through that with a pair of tongs and get the uh, Onion. I would say that we've gotten all the stuff out of there that we need to get. So our next step in a large skillet over medium high heat, we're going to heat up about 12 tablespoons. This is rendered pork fat or lard. You're going to heat that until shimmering. You can see how it goes from that like tan to like a clear 
remember the onion that we chopped earlier? Add that in. Gonna cook this onion until it's translucent, slightly golden, a few minutes. What you're gonna do now, now that you've gotten them, you see they're golden, you're gonna take your beans, add them right back in, add about a cup of your cooking liquid. So you could use a potato masher, right? And mash and mash and mash and mash and eventually you get there. We've got a tool for that. It's not metal, so don't freak out about using a metal utensil in your in your nonstick. So you're just gonna put that in. This will thicken up a little bit because of all the starches we just released. This, a little more salt, not much. Give it a stir. And while you're doing this, if you look at this and go, wow, Mark, it's really thin. As you cook it, it'll thicken up because it acts like lava. You cook it until it's the consistency you want. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is scratch made refried beans. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty smooth. Give it one final taste. All right guys, there you have it, refried beans. Super simple as you can see, it just takes a little time. Two and a half hours. Now we're gonna package that up into deli containers because this is actually for tomorrow's dinner. You can see the uh, the size, right? About two inches, like so. So this recipe calls for four onions, two of which you're gonna dice fine. And mix it with your cilantro. The other two are going to go in here. So right now we just need two. So two onions. Take the ends off. Literally just quartered, peeled. And take your onion. About two tablespoons of kosher salt. That all mixed up in there right we're gonna add two oranges and literally just cut them in half squeeze the juice drop them in because that orange peel and that orange juice is gonna impart a flavor 12 cloves of garlic just see what we've got going on we've got our orange we've got our onion we've got our pork obviously we've got our garlic four bay leaves one two three four two cinnamon sticks one break it in half two cover it tightly 275 degrees for three and a half hours Smell that cinnamon, the orange. And I'd say it's pretty close to 
fork tender. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out, we don't need the bay leaves anymore, or the cinnamon sticks, or the oranges. So we're gonna pull out bay leaves, oranges, onions, or the meat and the liquid through the strainer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna strain off the fat, add it back in to the meat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pork out now, put it back into the pan we just used. I'm gonna get you all your liquid. What I'm actually gonna do is run it through a mesh strainer. You see just how much more solids we got. So I'll cover this and refrigerate it. And what will happen is the fat will separate from the rest of the liquid and we'll skim that off. Literally shred this by hand. The other way to do it is literally just take two forks. And pull it all, pull it all apart. You just go through and make sure there's no big fat chunks or anything like that, that they're all, everything's broken up into generally uniform size. And that's it. The next step would be to take your skimmed fat off of that liquid, introduce it back into here, and take this and heat it up in the oven on a sheet tray until it's got a little bit of a crisp to it. And serve. This right here, that, that piece. Mmm, so good.